we get to touch the real projects that are happening we're not just given any random projects or any dummy projects that is just for the learning process but we actually are touching the real projects we're working with the teams and we are doing real time work that any full time employee would be doing so yeah if a person wants to learn about the tech industry about the finance industry and how both of them work together i would definitely recommend this internship You're listening to IBKR's Sense of Security. Find more conversations at ibkrpodcast.com. Please remember any trading discussions are for information purposes only and are not intended to portray recommendations. Please listen to further disclosures at the end of today's episode. Now, welcome to our show. Hello and welcome to IBKR Podcasts. I'm Stephen Levine, Senior Market Analyst at Interactive Brokers. I'm your host for today's program. We're speaking with Juhi Raju Malkani. She's a summer intern here with us at IBKR. And we're going to talk to her about her participation in our company's internship initiative for 2023, including her aspirations and expectations. And so welcome, Juhi. Thanks so much for taking the time to do this. My pleasure. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here too. So, to hear I understand you'll be going into the second year of your master's program in computer science at San Jose State University, is that right? Yes, that's right. It's a two-year program? Yeah, it's a two-year program. Okay, so this is going to be your final year before you get your master of science degree, your MS degree. Yes. And you came all the way out here to our headquarters in Greenwich, Connecticut, all the way out from California to do this internship. That's quite a trip. Yeah almost across the country um this is my first time being on the east coast itself and it has been really exciting it is so much more fast paced and uh, <laughs> no i'm not used to this kind of lifestyle but it has taken me by awe and i really like it <laughs> it is basically across the country you've yeah. left the west coast in favor of grand connecticut so i have to ask you why did you select ibkr as the place to do your internship did you have any other opportunities closer to campus for example that you could have done this I chose IBKR for two reasons. I'm personally interested in the fintech industry, the finances, the fast-paced world that the finance industry has, and the amount of data that it has. Every day so many things are changing, every day there's new news and the thrill of being in the finance industry. <laughs> that was one reason that drew me here. And second reason was front-end development. I have been in, interested in front-end development uh, for a very long time and uh, not just front end development but the design part of it interests me as well so this was a mix of both front end as well as finance that i was getting here so it drew me here i finalized this offer way back in february so i didn't really look to other opportunities i had given a yes to this way long time back and didn't even consider applying to other opportunities because i was getting the best offer And it sounds like you're getting the best of both worlds. Yes, we are a technology company first and foremost, but we have our heart and our heartbeat on what's needed within the financial services industry. What I am curious about is where is it that you see yourself going, say in 5, 10 years, your future self beyond your master's degree in the world? What does it look like? What are you doing? Are you involved in finance, do you think, at that point in time? Are you doing computer programming for financial companies? What do you want to do exactly? So yeah I like finance and I would want to want my career to be in finance I would definitely try that as my priority but my major priority would be going into full stack development from front end development so front end development is a part of full stack development so going forward I also need to learn back end development so when these combine together they be, they create full stack development so yeah that is one of my goals of going forward in the next 5 10 years I want to be a full stack developer so that I can handle and understand the, all the aspects of the project by myself as a developer as a tester designing the requirements so start of the cycle from designing the requirements to deploying it to the client I need to be able to understand the full project so that is where I see myself in the next 5 to 10 years handling a full stack project I'm going to be a part of the team doing it alone is not the goal <laughs> but at least understanding the entire project is somewhere uh, something i need to be able to do and develop in all the aspects so full stack development is my major goal but if it's in the finance industry it is going to be a cherry on the cake <laughs> well there are always opportunities i think within the financial world especially as it integrates 
more and more with technology. I mean, wouldn't you say that finance and technology are becoming almost inseparable at this point? You've got a digital currency environment, for example, and that's just one aspect of it. But the way that we communicate now financially in terms of transactions is basically you can't do without technology. Definitely, I would agree. I mean, I don't see technology and finance being separated henceforth. They are already so integrated that without technology, finance would become so difficult that I don't see them as inseparable. Yeah, I don't either. Which brings me to this project that you did here at IBKR. Would you say that this particular project, it seems like it has some part in fulfilling this goal that you have of being a full stack developer? at least on the front end of it and working closely with the back end. But can you tell us a little bit more about what you experienced practically and what exactly this project was intended to accomplish? So I'm basically working on the web and mobile applications that we have. So web applications, client portal and mobile applications that we have is global trader, impact application, IBKR mobile. I'm working on all of those. I have different tasks that allow me to develop the front end that is the user interface that a client sees. So I I have been involved in all of that. Yes, I have been mostly 100% of it has been front end development for me. But what brings my attention to all of these is that I'm getting so much variety in this, that client portal is a web portal. So it caters to people who are using laptops and big screens. Whereas Global Trader Impact and IBKR Mobile is something that people use on the smaller screens. And so catering to two different kinds of UI and learning from it has been my biggest achievement that I would say. I have to be dynamic because I'm not getting tasks in a list that, okay, these are client portal tasks or or these are mobile tasks. I'm getting tasks randomly. So I have to be dynamic about working around them. And that has been my biggest gain from this. Is this a departure at all to your, say, experience in college, in your master's courses? Does this complement that in a practical way? I mean, what do you take with you that's unique from this experience? Definitely a more practical approach to my degree. I have learned front-end development in my degree in my previous semester as a semester-long project. I was working as a front-end developer in that project as well. But, you know, we developed and we displayed that project to the professor, but here we are actually being able to deploy it to the clients going through the entire yeah. release cycles. So we are seeing how that code gets deployed and the value of code in the market actually. So yes, the degree was more theoretical or more on the factual level, but here we are actually seeing practically how it gets deployed and used by the users actually. Here, you actually get to put your skills to a certain use for an actual business case, and the results are actual. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Whatever code I have submitted has actually been deployed to production servers, and it is being used by the clients. (laughs) So I'm actually seeing the impact of the use by the clients. That that is awesome. How do you feel about that? That's so awesome, my (laughs) code being actually used. (laughs) That's that's everything, really. And that what's, I think that's what makes everything here worthwhile. And what would you say about your managers or mentors? I mean, how was the guidance in terms of leading you through these challenges? Did they leave you on your own? Or how did that work? So it was somewhere between micromanaging and leaving me on my own. Okay. It was more of my own initiative to ask questions when needed. They would assign me tasks. They would make clear the requirements of the task and they would let me do it on my own. And whenever I approached them with questions, they made sure to resolve it to the root level. So not only those questions were resolved on the task level, but it also improved my skills and both technical and collaborative skills. So they made sure that I understand and they were super reachable. I mean, that is the most important part for me that when I have questions, when I have doubts, I could reach out to them and they would give that give me their time and make me understand what uh, was important in that particular task not just related to tasks but general questions also when i would ask them anything related to the internship also they were super reachable and uh, i feel great about it that 
I got mentored by such awesome people. That's, that's great. That's, I mean, it's really, really terrific to hear. Is there any highlights from this project beside seeing your code get deployed to users that you want to put a spotlight on? Any highlight in activities or events, maybe not directly related to the project at hand or related? Yeah. So what we had was lunch and learn sessions every Friday for interns, and we had technical lunch and learn sessions for programming interns every Monday, going through the series and learning so many aspects from so many top people working in the company. That was something that I really enjoyed. Every lunch and learn session was so interesting. I mean, I myself am not from different backgrounds that those guys are coming from, let's say, finance, marketing, investor relations. But all those uh, attending all those sessions made me understand so many aspects of this company. And at the same time, they were so involving. I didn't feel left out not being a part of those teams. They, they made us understand those concepts to the child level. And it was an interesting experience for me, apart from the coding yeah. world. So you got to know the company a little bit more holistically. Right. That's great. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I feel that overall, this internship experience has given me a glimpse of what my full-time might look like and how I need to perform in my full-time experience and what I need to be careful about. Because since we are releasing our code to production servers and it is being used by the clients, we have certain risks that we need to be careful about. This is not something that we learn by doing code by ourselves and not deploying it. So this is one experience that I have and I would take it forward with me when I go to my full-time job. Yeah, that's really terrific. And that's how you build things. And that's how you build a career, I would say. Would you recommend this internship to anyone seeking a similar career path? Yes, definitely. Because IBKR internship, what I've learned from here and from my experiences of the peers is that as interns, also, we get to touch the real projects that are happening. We're not just given any random projects or any dummy projects that is just for the learning process, but we actually are touching the real projects. We're working with the teams and we are doing real-time work that any full-time employee would be doing. So, yeah, if a person wants to learn about the tech industry, about the finance industry, and how both of them work together, I would definitely recommend this internship. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like we just welcome you right into the workforce, isn't it? <laughs> But this has been great. Juhi, thank you so, so much for taking the time. It was really great talking to you. This is great. Yeah, thank you so much. I really had fun. So for our listeners, you can hear more of IB Care's podcast at the IB Care campus. They're also available on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, anywhere you listen to your favorite shows. And wherever you might tune in, please rate and review us. We'd love to hear from you. We've also recently launched our new podcast series, Sense of Security. That's C-E-N-T-S. That's you know, the kind of sense that you might have in your pocket, sense of security. It's a whole series focused on financial literacy. And for those of you interested in learning all about credit scores or managing a 401k or seeking auto financing, a lot of really great topics, including some firsthand accounts from another side of this year's intern class, those pursuing liberal arts related careers, and they found success at our financial services firm. So you won't want to miss that. And for a full list of financial education offerings, visit the IB Care campus, where as always, all of our educational material is provided to the public at no cost. And until next time, I'm Stephen Levine for Interactive Brokers. Thanks for listening to IBKR's Sense of Security. As always, there's more content at ibkrpodcast.com. And if you're interested in learning more about Interactive Brokers, visit ibkr.com. We offer more trading education content such as webinars, market commentary, market-related courses, and quant-related articles at ibkrcampus.com. The analysis in this material is provided for information only and is not and should not be construed as an offer to sell or the solicitation of an offer to buy any security. To the extent that this material discusses general market activity, industry, or sector trends or other broad-based economic or political conditions, it should not be construed as research or investment advice. To the extent that it includes references to specific securities, commodities, currencies, or other instruments, those references do not constitute a recommendation by IBKR to buy, sell, or hold such investments. This material does not and is not intended to take into account the particular financial conditions, investment objectives, or requirements of individual customers.
Before acting on this material, you should consider whether it is suitable for your particular circumstances and, as necessary, seek professional advice.